This chart fascinates me. It's something we have put together so you can visualize everything that's happening when you are subnetting based on your starting point. Because that's one of the concepts that a lot of people struggle with. I struggled with it back in the day. I had trouble in the beginning. So we've, we've put together this chart that really puts it all together for you. I'm going to show you what I mean by that here. Let's say we are a slash eight. I'm a slash eight. How many subnets are created if we are a class A address using a slash eight? A lot of people say one. No, 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 no. We have one large network, but how many subnets do we have? <laughs> we have zero subnets, don't we? Right, it's one large network, but there's no subnets. A subnet is a division of a network. Well, we have no subnets here. It's one large network that we have. That's why you see zero there. That's not a mistake. It, it is zero subnets created. So let's go to a slash nine now. If we are a class A, if we are a class A, how many subnets are created if we're a slash nine? Yeah, it's just two, right? It's just two. So when you analyze slash eight to slash nine, how many bits did we borrow? We borrowed one bit. Two to the power of one bit is two. Two subnets created. Oh, very nice. All right, so let's, let's go down to a slash 12 here. And remaining with our class A, remaining with our class A, how many subnets were created if we started at 8 and went to 12? Well, 12 minus 8 is 4 bits borrowed. 2 to the power of 4 bits borrowed is 16. So we have 16 subnets created. Now let's go down to a slash 16. So if, if we were a slash eight, if we were a slash eight and now we are a slash 16, so let's say our IP address is 10.1.1.1 slash 16 now. And a, what was our starting mask? It would be a slash eight because it's the 10 network. So we are now a slash 16. How many subnets did we create? That would be 256. 256 subnets, two to the power of eight. 16 minus eight is eight. Two to the power of eight is 256. But wait a second. What if our addressing was class B? What if we were the 172.16.00 slash 16 network? How many subnets were created at that point in time? None, right? None. We are one large network in this case. That's what we are. Ah, very interesting. So you can kind of see how everything's building here. Let's go down to a slash 20. So if I'm a slash 20 and we started out as a class A network, we would have bored 12 bits. 20 minus 8 is 12. 2 to the power of 12 is 4,096. But what if we started out as a class B address? Well, then it'd be slash 16. So 20 minus slash 16 is 4. Two to the power of four is 16. Whoa, wait a second. There's a great example of knowing your starting point. Because if you don't know your starting point, I've stressed it many times, you can end up with the wrong result. And there's a great example of that. If you started out as a slash eight, you get 4,096 subnets. But if you started out as a 16, you only get 16 subnets. So if you were taking an exam and you had to figure out the number of subnets that were created based on a slash 20, if you don't know whether it was a 16 or an 8, that was the starting point, then you got a 50-50 shot of getting your answer right. You need to know the starting point to get the correct answer. And let's take it a step further. What if we're a slash 28? If you're a slash 28 and you started out as a slash 8, well, you bored 20 bits. 2 to the power of 20 is over 1 million subnets created. That's right. I said over 1 million subnets created. If you are a class B, it's only 4,096 subnets created. If you're a class C, it is only 16 subnets created. So look at the bits now. See how the bits change? The number of bits borrowed changes significantly between all of our subnets here, all because of that starting point. 
Let's take a good, good look at this chart. Take a screenshot of it. Have it available to you for verification purposes. Something you can look over saying, all right, do I know my starting point? Do I know where I am now? Do I know the difference? Take that difference, which is the number of bits borrowed, two to the power of that difference, number of bits borrowed, is going to equal how many subnets were created. And then you can verify your work with this chart. Great chart. I love it. I use it. It's a great teaching aid as well and a great learning aid.